Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's explore the Maclaurin series. Well, to do that, we have to start with the Taylor series, the one that we showed you how, we, how to derive in the previous video. So we know now that the Taylor series has this form. It's the power series where f of x equals the function evaluated at a plus the derivative of the function evaluated at a divided by one factorial times x minus a plus the second derivative of the function evaluated at a divided by 2 factorial times x minus a squared plus the third derivative of the function evaluated a divided by 3 factorial times the quantity x minus a cubed and so forth and you can see how that continues. Now all we have to do here to turn the Taylor series into a Maclaurin series is to let a go to 0. Remember that the Taylor series was used for a function that was centered about the point x equals a. Now what we're doing by setting a equal to 0 we're now allowing the function to center about the point x equals 0. Notice what happens to the Taylor series. We now have f of x is equal to the function evaluated at 0 instead of evaluated at a, plus the derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 1 factorial times x. We no longer have the x minus a because a is 0, plus the second derivative evaluated at 0 divided by 2 factorial times x squared, plus the third derivative evaluated 0 divided by 3 factorial times x cubed and you can see how that continues. And so now we have the Maclaurin series which has a lot of practical purposes and you'll see some, ex uh, some examples of that in the next videos and notice that it is used for functions that are centered around x equals 0 and we have a number of those. So you can see that perhaps the Maclaurin series may be more useful than the Taylor series However, the Taylor series has a more general form of the series, but the Maclaurin series, you'll see, has some practical purposes for functions centered at x equals 0. And that's how it's done.